Hi and welcome to Crafting with Michelle. Uh, this is my first tutorial, so, so I'll just uh, flip through the book so you can have a look and then um, I'll take you through the steps on how to make it. So we've got this, we've got a little pocket here that we could pop some things in. This one here, pocket, comes out there, little photo mats all over the place. There's another um, uh, mat that we can pop photos on, like this, photo mat, another one, little messages on there, little photos, and again another little pocket that we could always pop some bits and pieces in. And I've just finished the back off with a little design on the back. Now um, I've created this as a gift for my daughter to give to her friend. Uh, for her birthday and she's going to further personalize it and stick some photos and things in there or another idea for it would be to actually give it blank uh, to a friend and let them add their special bits and pieces. Uh, it can be personalized with different stickers and different ideas. Uh, this one was designed for a birthday and for a best friend's birthday so that's why uh, there are a few stickers with mentioning the words friends and surprise and birthday and that sort of thing. So um, yeah, I hope you have fun making it. I know I did. Okay, now to start with we're going to need two pieces of card. Uh, I've just, or chipboard, but I just find like a thickish sort of card uh, works well at five by six inches. Okay, and then you're going to need two coordinating or two uh, similar different pages and again you need to cut two pieces each of five by six and these are going to form the cover and the inside cover okay so the, you'll be covering this the other thing you're going to need is uh, something for the spine and that's going to be a piece of card uh, or thick paper and that will be at six inches by nine inches and that needs to be double sided Okay. Okay. Next, we need to score our double-sided paper at three-quarter inch intervals. So if we go from here, go along three quarters of an inch, and then count one, two, three. Another three quarters. One, two, three. If you're like me and you have a small board, you're going to need to turn your work around and then work backwards. Okay. Okay, now what you need to do is fold this piece along those lines in a concertina. And this is forming your spine. Once you've got your concertina, you're going to need to decide which side you would like to be on the out side and which you would like to be on the inside. I'm going with the plane for the outside because you don't get to see it as much. And on the inside, you'll get to see it a little bit more so I've gone with the design. Now what you need to do, once you've decided which way, you need to make sure that it's folded like this. So you're going to have a valley for your first piece, valley, with, the, with both the ends sort of pointing up, like a W, a long W, but anyway, like a W. And that way you know this is going to be the inside. All right, and then what you need to do is you need to take some double-sided tape and you need to lay it along the very first piece that you scored near the score line but not quite on the score line. I don't know if you can see that but it's like near the score line but not on the score line. Okay so you lay that on the first piece and also on the last. Okay so I have a piece of tape on each of those and then you leave two spare so one two spare and then on the fourth one 
from both sides there, one, two, fourth one, I'd like you to lay a piece of thin double sided tape straight down the centre. Okay? And then that's all we need to do with this for the minute. Okay, you may have made a slight mistake here. I said put your tape on the first and the fourth and then the first on this side and the fourth but ignore the fourth and put it on the fifth. Okay, we're going to be working on the covers, the front and back covers now. Um, and I need you to rule a line down the side, the outer side of each of them, at half an inch. So you're half an inch. Now I need to go ahead and put a line of sticky tape, just thin double sided tape, down the side of each of those. There you go. The next thing we need to do is we need to make some marks along the outer covers and that will be to mark where the ribbon's going to go. So we just lay our ruler up there and our first mark is at half an inch, so mark that there and then we do a mark every one and a half inches. So one and a half, one and a half, one and a half till we get to the top. And we do the same on the other side and again from the bottom, okay so half an inch. Okay, next thing we're going to be working with the back cover. Okay, now it's, you lay it on the desk like this and then you flip it over so that the tape is here. Okay, then what you do is you take your concertina piece and you turn it over. And what we then do is lay another piece of tape near the... Um, fold but not on the fold okay as you can see there on the first and the last piece all right then what we're going to do is we're going to be adhering this like this to there so the best way to do that is to remove your double-sided tape And then lay your board or lay your spine right along there. And you have this like that. Yes, perfect. Okay, I did it right. I was a bit confused for a second. Alrighty. -o. So now if that's our back. Imagine this is going to be the spine, it sits like this, and the front is going to lay on top like that. Alright, so again, you take the board like this, flip it over, take our piece of uh, spine, take our spine, get rid of the double sided tape, and then with the side closest to the tape, as you can see there, the tape. Go over like this. And place it on. And there we go. And there we have our spine, which will fold neatly like this. And that is the basis of our book. As you can see, it's going to be opening Oops, like this. That's his front. Okay, now. And then using our trimmer and the pieces of paper that we're going to use as the front and back, I'm just going to stick with the green for the front and back, we need to take one eighth of an inch off. Okay, so that's the best way to do this. So if that's five, take it down one eighth of an inch. Ah. 
and trim it. Same with the other piece. These are the centers, not the outside. Okay. Okay, our next step is to apply glue to the back of our trimmed pieces. And then we just want to insert them into the book. Now, one thing I didn't do, which I should have done, was remove this piece of tape backing here. So we do that, pull this up, and then that's down beautifully. Okay. Again the other side, lift the corner up, put a bit of tape off. Okay, and that is essentially the binder of that book. We're not going to be putting the front cover on yet because we need to um, make our dimension, add the ribbon, and then we'll be adding the front to it, like this. Okay. Okay, we're going to start with the pages now, and we're going to make two pockets to start with. You just need two pieces of paper, and they are cut at eight and a half inches by four and a half inches. Okay, now we're going to need to score these. So you get your scoreboard out. And the first score needs to be at four inches. And you spin it around and it needs to be half an inch in. Okay, so four inches from that edge, half an inch from that edge. And then Along the bottom edge, I want to do half an inch. And that's now your bottom edge. Okay? So it'll look something like that. I'll do it again. Now we need to make some cuts to these pieces. Now the first is on the edge where there's a quarter inch and a quarter inch, we cut that corner off like that. And then we come in right next to where the next fold is, cut across like that. And then cut this whole bottom panel off. So what you finish with looks like that. Now once you've cut your piece, your, both your pieces, just bend them along the fold lines like this. Okay, so you're going to be forming a little pocket like that. Okay, and then apply double-sided tape like I've done here and just tape them down. Like that. There you have your little pocket. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is punch some little circles into uh, the tops of your pockets. So at the opening, there, slide into a circle punch. Any circle punch would do. Um, I've got the one and a half inch, uh, the old Creative Memories one. Okay, and again in the top. Line it up about the center. And so there we have two little pockets ready to go into the album. Now the last three things you need are two pieces of paper cut to one's cut to um, four and three quarters and five and seven eighths. Needs to be double sided. Okay. And the other one is cut to five and a half inches by four and a half inches, again double sided. 
and then you just need to find an envelope that will fit inside your album. Just measure it, uh, close the, the envelope, cut uh, one of the sides off and then just punch a hole in the top. Okay, and now we're ready to assemble the album. Okay, now since we're ready to construct our album, our first page is going to be uh, one of our pockets. I'm just going to apply glue to the back lower section of it. And it's going to be placed on the first hump, so to speak. I'm going to place it slightly lower down and not right on the fold, but just near the fold because you want to be able to have movement when you're opening and closing your pages. Okay, and just make sure there's no spillover, there's friction, so just wipe that up. There we go. that goes on your first all right and then your next one goes on the double-sided tape your first strip of double-sided tape that you've got on there so it is on your fourth panel remember and on this one we're going to place the smaller piece of paper so the five and a half by four and a half inch I'm just going to center that on there again near the fold but not on it. Okay, second page in, flip over. Next one we're going to do is the envelope. We're going to put it upright so it's going to go there. So a bit of glue on the side of this one. You can use double-sided tape. I'm just using glue for some reason. I don't even know. Okay, again, near the fold, but not on the fold. And over we go. No spillage on that one. And again, the double-sided tape on the next Ignore this one because that was my mistake. I might stick something to it afterwards. Okay, and then what goes on this is the larger piece of paper. So the piece of paper that is four and three quarter inches by five and seven eighths. I'm going to put that on there like this. So this one's centered near the fold, not on it. You can see a theme here near the fold, not on it. And then the last one is going to be this pocket, which I'm going to place sideways again. So it will be on that panel there. So again, a bit of tape, uh, glue on there. And stick this one a little bit more towards the top. And then your album will close shut. Looking page, page, make sure there's no glue, page, page, ready -o. Looking good. Ready for embellishing the pages. We're not going to leave them that plain. Okay. Okay, we're going to start next by decorating the inside front cover and followed by the inside that cover. They're going to be um, pretty much identical. Okay, now what we're going to need for this first of all is a piece of card and that's going to measure four and a quarter by two and, a th two and three quarter inches and then I've actually got a piece of uh, a border punch that I had that is also four and a quarter inches wide uh, you can get a piece of lace to attach to it if you like, or just a fancy piece of paper, whatever 
whatever you would like to trim it with and I'm going to stick that onto the front of my piece of card with a bit of glue The nice thing about glue is when you pop it down you've got a little bit of leeway to sort of move it around as long as you don't over do it end up with glue everywhere okay now that's going to sit there when we're finished with it and um, but we want it to be a pocket so we want it to raise up uh, off the page so what I've done is I've gone and cut uh, some lengths of the board that we used to form the cover okay and no set measurements, I've just done it so that it will fit neatly like this to form a border and raise uh, this up as a pocket. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the uh, double sided tape off, place it on our card, now I've just pre taped both sides of it just to save a bit of time you go as close oops close to the edge without going over it it doesn't have to go all the way to the top uh, it doesn't matter too much and then yeah like that so you can see that's going to uh, form a raised pocket when we pop it on there now before we do actually pop it on there there are a couple of things we need to do there's another piece of paper that I want uh, to place behind that and that measures four and a quarter by three and a quarter and that's going to be placed there with this going over it okay so the next thing I'm going to do is pop this down um, I'm actually going to use some double-sided tape I can find it for this just so it sits a little bit flatter As you can see, that sits nicely there. That's going to pop over the top. Now, just to tizzy things up a little bit, uh, I've got a piece of ribbon, just that is longer than the piece of card, and a trinket. Uh, it could be any trinket. I just had this sitting in my um, craft box. Okay. What we want to do is we want to have this effect, where it goes, oops, like that. Okay. So I've just tied a knot. To secure uh, the trinket in place and I'd like it to sit further to one side rather than just smack in the middle and so it's going to go around about there. So what we do is we turn it over and just lift the edge off your double-sided tape here. Not all of it, just a piece of it. We should tape over like that and squish it back down with the tape. And then that's going to sit Right there like that. Alright, now we're sticking the other side on. Again the same way. Like that. Press down. Okay. And then you'll see that's secure. And all you do is you take your scissors. Okay, trimmed. Now we need to peel this off. But I'm going to stick it a little bit more just over the top of the ribbon because we want it to stay in place. So another piece over the top, I'm peeling this off, and again another piece, press firmly and peel it off. I found some slightly fatter thin double sided tape so I've just been using that one, slightly wider I mean. Okay, so we remove all of them. That. And then we want to 
Center this. Place it there like that. And that's that page done. Okay, now we've done the front cover. I said we were going to do the back one identical. Okay, now I've pre cut the papers for this one. So I just know this one goes about there. This one here I've pre done. Uh, I've just used a star and a pink ribbon instead of a blue ribbon this time. Same deal. This time I thought I might. Uh, a little message in there because this looks rather neat. So half in, half out, a little bit of an angle. There you go. And that says, trim a little drop.